Hey everyone, Joel Lance here, and today we are still in the beautiful city of Houston, Texas, guys. I love Texas. Houston's been awesome. Um, it's actually such a beautiful place. The people are awesome. The food's been amazing, amazing. And today I think that this is going to be the exact same. So today we're at Bao Shi Yi, which I guess means like uh, bao, like the bun, like the bao, and then like 11 steps, like 11. She's 11, so 11 steps. Here to do a big, big, big challenge. So this is a challenge featuring um, everything from a number of different dumplings. We have some buns. We have some popcorn chicken. Uh, we have a Chinese hamburger and I believe like a Chinese pancake. So it all sounds really, really cool. I've never had some of these items before, but uh, we'll head on in. I'll get you some more info. Basically what I understand is we're gonna have 30 minutes to complete this. Um, it definitely sounds like a lot of food, but it looks really good. Um, but yeah, we'll just go on in. We'll see what it's all about. Uh, should be a lot of fun. This is one of their four locations. They have four different locations. And this is called the Texas Medical Center location. So yeah, anyway, so let's head on in. Have some fun, let's eat some food and uh, get you some more info. Everyone's here with all the food, so it's really an interesting spread. Some of these items I've never had before. So we have, for example, a traditional Chinese pancake, which is really cool. It's uh, like egg and sausage and a sauce all together. Um, we have the New Orleans steamed buns. I got to pick that kind of bun I wanted to try the New Orleans on. We have an order of their hot stickers. We have the uh, famous, famous, famous popcorn chicken. We have the fresh meat uh, buns. We have the Shaolin Bao, which is like a soup dumpling, a pork soup dumpling, very, very popular, very well known. Um, but here we have the uh, kind of, it's a variety pack. It's like cabbage, shrimp, uh, pork dumplings there. And then we have the Chinese burger, which is something I've never had before. And it's actually like pork. So that looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, about that, let's get started. Should be a lot of fun. Definitely a lot of food, but uh, I like it. I'm excited to try all these items. Like I said, never had a lot of them before. And uh, that's about it. So let's get started here just momentarily. Right, so let's get started. I do have some uh, sriracha. I have some soy sauce here as well. I also have some chili oil if you want some extra heat. Where to get started? We'll find out. I'll probably, uh, hmm, maybe I'll start with the popcorn chicken. So how do we get started here? Let's say the count of five, four, three, two, one. Ooh. Really nice crisp on it. It's really cool, like uh, texture to it. And you can pick the spice that goes on it. I'm with a medium. I would say the popcorn chicken. The heat that like the spice you put on it. It almost reminds me a little bit of like uh mm. like a hot potato chip or like a hot cheeto, it's really good. Definitely recommend that. Here you have some pot stickers. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're at Bao Shi Yi, yes, in Houston, Texas. Bao Shi Yi. So, really cool restaurant, I will say, offering a whole bunch of different uh, and really unique foods, um, a lot of which I've never had before, but I really, really thought were awesome. Um, and I was definitely hoping that I would actually get to try everything. Obviously this was a lot of food with a lot of diversity, so I knew there wasn't going to be any flavor fatigue or anything like that, but I really wanted to, you know, to at least be able to try all these different items. So we had some uh, kind of like what I'd say more items I was familiar with, like dumplings and some steamed buns, um, we had a whole variety of different flavors. We had some Shaolin Bao, which were uh, soup dumplings, which were, uh, those are really, really cool items as well, as well as many other items. And next let's try this Shaolin Bao. See the soup dumplings? It's really cool and it's literally, it's a dumpling, but in here's soup. So, a lot of people take a bite out of it. And then you drink the soup. I like it, you can see like the flake. Really tasty. 
So in addition to the kind of the food items here, this place is also really well known for their drinks, um, which was definitely something I was hoping that I'd have room to try afterwards, being like their boba teas, their different um, mango slushes, and all these other cool things. Um, they also had this Chinese burger and this Chinese pancake, which I was like unfamiliar with and excited to try. Here are the other mixed dumplings. Of course, I'm just using my hands. Yes, I have chopsticks and calorie, but it's all good. Mm. I can get more shrimp. Donut's pork. I also really, really liked the location. So if you see, they had all the lovely neon lights on the back wall there, um, and the staff were very, very friendly. Um, they treated me very well. So I really appreciated that. Some real Texas hospitality and made it a great experience. This one there was a really great bite. Yeah, there's explosion of flavor. I'll try this Chinese pancake. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's onions, cilantro, like green onions, sausage, egg. Smells good. Mm. Ooh, there's something crispy in there. Mm. Oh wow. It's kind of like a spicy and chipotle pepper kind of thing in there. Very good flavor. I was really hoping I would have enough time to finish the challenge, so I was kind of really, uh, let's say, exploring and, and diving into some of the flavors of these items, because like I said, I've never actually had them before. So I figured that I would have enough time to at least, you know, uh, really taste and, and share with you guys um, the actual flavors of some of these items. Because again, I was unfamiliar with a Chinese burger, I was unfamiliar with a Chinese pancake, but that Chinese pancake was awesome. It's basically like an omelet sandwich. Got the Chinese burger and the bun. I'll try the Chinese burger. It looks like it's like pork belly. Looks uh, it actually looks delicious. Ooh, I wish you could smell that. It's like the bread or like the bun is very sweet smelling. It almost smells like uh, I don't know. I'm just got like dessert pancakey vibes. So let's try a Chinese burger. Oh yeah. Woo. Okay. Savory pork belly. I'm almost like a pancake. Mm. It's like this buttery. Almost like pancake syrupy like flavor on it. This is almost like dessert. I like this a lot. Must try. When it came to this Chinese burger, I have to say it was absolutely fantastic. It's like pork belly with like a sweet kind of, um, you know, almost pancake bun, kind of like something you'd see in like a McGriddle, like it's like a sweet pancake bun, which was awesome. And speaking of buns, I was hoping these, well, I knew these buns were gonna be awesome as well. I had to burp. Get a little bit of air out. Alright, we got the fresh meat buns. Ooh. They're so soft, so doughy. And then the New Orleans buns, which are definitely sizable. Again, I love the fresh and soft and doughy there. Oh man, it's like biting into a it's like biting into a pillow. With that, that's pretty much all the info I have for you today, guys. So like we said, pretty straightforward. Um, we are in the quest for a free meal. Um, yeah, that's about it, you know. So uh, that will let you get to the rest of the video. Hopefully, we'll be able to finish everything up. Um, but yeah, overall, very delicious. Really enjoyed that. Um, so that, let's tune on in. Let's ultimately see what happens. And uh, hopefully, we can do Houston, Texas proud. And I love Texas. So let's go. All right, last but not least. 
Whew. A lot of food. We have the New Orleans bun. Really impressed how soft and airy these are. Oh wow. That chicken there? We're finished. Ooh. All right, so very delicious, a lot of food. I will say the shell and bao were absolutely fantastic because the soup dumplings, really, really like that. Um, the uh, New Orleans buns were really, really good. Popcorn chicken was absolutely phenomenal. It's one of the uh, staff's favorites here. I definitely see why. I think what takes the cake for me and was the absolute amazing, the best, the most surprising item was that freaking, what they call the Chinese burger. So good. It was like savory pork belly, almost on what I would again describe, kind of like a, I don't know, buttery pancakey syrup tasting pancake bun thing. Amazing, definitely worth trying. Um, I mean, this place basically serving breakfast, lunch, dinner all the time, I guess you could say, uh, with like also that Chinese pancake. That was really cool. Um, what is really cool, like, because this is the uh, Texas Medical Center location, is if you are like a, medical staff or even like a medical student or whatever, um, you can get 10% off here. So I think that's super cool. I really applaud them for that. I definitely, you know, support of our healthcare workers, our essential care our workers. Huge thanks to Bashi here. I had a great time, a lot of uh, delicious uh, items. And uh, I will say though, there's a couple fancy looking drinks that I kind of want to try. So let me maybe order one or two of those and uh, I'll, I'll come back. I'll make sure to share them with you. But uh, yeah, so let's get some drinks and uh, that's it, so we'll, I'll be right back. All right, everyone, so I grabbed myself some of the drinks. In fact, we pretty much got everything, let's be honest. Um, so I already started drinking it, but they have soy milk. Like this is a cold soy milk, they also offer it warm as well. Um, the soy milk here is really good. They said it was fantastic, I already tried it. It really is. This is like just such a classic kind of item in the culture. But man, it is, it's sweet. And what I love about this, it's like, it's not an overwhelming soy flavor, if that makes sense. So that, I will have to say, it actually is, I think, the best soy milk I've ever had. I really like it. And usually that's like not something I would normally be like, oh, it's soy milk, but it's really good. While I'm on the soy milk, before we get to kind of these fancy, fancy drinks, uh, being more like the brown sugar milk tea, which looks just gorgeous, bulbous at the bottom. I also have this one, which I'm super excited for. They call it a strawberry juice slush and it has the uh, cheese foam on top. Yes, yeah, kind of like cream cheese, like a cream cheese foam. So it's almost like a strawberry shortcake thing going on. Sounds delicious. And then this is the uh, grapefruit uh, sliced tea, which is apparently very refreshing. And it looks very refreshing. I'm gonna try uh, again while, oh, and this one. This is called a mango juice slush. So it is, it's like a slushy. And there's little like almost boba things on the bottom. So lots of drinks, look great. But this, I have some warm soy milk, and while we're on the soy milk, and I have this, which is called, had to get dessert, a Chinese donut. Look how big this is. This is huge. So Chinese donut, which is like big, obviously, fried dough. Light, airy fried dough. And it says often people eat it either with the warm soy milk or dip it in. This could be like a breakfast item. So let's try it out. Mm. Really nice pairing, actually. The soy milk adds a little bit more of a kind of like mouthfeel. Like a, it really brings out kind of the richness. It's extra warm. It makes it really moist. 
Adds a little bit of extra sweetness to it. I dig. Now these are gonna be, these are the, the luscious, luscious, luscious drinks. I'm gonna try to pick ones that will be less sweet, work to sweeter, because they know like, that's the best way to flavor them. I'm gonna try this one first. This is the grapefruit sliced tea. Oh man, that smells like just a fresh citrus, a cold drink of water. Oh yeah, okay. I'm gonna like, let's, let's give this a, give this a bit of a shake. Let's see some nice flavorful bits at the bottom. Oh, very refreshing. Not too sweet. You get a really nice tanginess from that grapefruit. It just tastes very like natural. This is like what you want on a warm summer's day. Like on the way to class after a workout, something like that. Very refreshing. Would recommend. Next, um, maybe I'll try the, the brown sugar, the boba tea, the milk tea. Love these things. I will say they are very good. This one we'll probably want the straw for. So we can get two at the bottom. I'll have these cups too. Kind of pop that old straw in. All right. So this mouthful will just be beautiful. Oh man. Those rich brown sugar boba at the bottom. Beautiful, that milk tea. Of course, you can you can mix it up a little bit more, but I love the consistency and the chewiness of the boba. Very good milk tea. Another would recommend. All right, then we have the uh, strawberry juice slush with the uh, with the cheese foam and this mango juice slush. I'll try the mango juice slush first. Oh, it's actually it's. It smells just like a real mango, like a fresh cut mango. And it's a slushy. Oh my God. Holy cow. I feel like I'm eating a mango. That is just like mind blown. Wow. Okay, this like might be my favorite drink ever. I love mangoes and like a fresh mango. I literally feel like I'm just eating a mango. Oh man, guys, too good. Mm. I could have way too many of these. Mind blown. I don't really know what to expect from a mango juice slush, but it's literally just like eating a mango. Man, that is damn good. All right. I'm impressed. But let's try the cheese foam here. This is again, again, cheese foam sounds really weird to a lot of people. And cheese, like in a drink, sounds weird. But like I said, it's kind of like a really nice kind of, uh, I call it cream cheese kind of froth on the top. So it's like, it's, it's not like it's like Americanized cheese. It's very sweet. It's like, like I said, it's kind of like a sweet cream cheese. I could like, the thing is you could just eat and drink this, but I know we get into the, some of the strawberry here at the bottom and it's gonna be like a strawberry shortcake. I like strawberry shortcake. So I'm gonna kinda of pop this down a bit. Let's get a little bit of a mixture of the flavors. Mm, very nice strawberry slush. Again, tasting like, just like a real strawberry. Then a little bit of that cheese foam. 
Oh man. Ah, oh, it's too good. That combo, man, is just like freaking strawberry shortcake. Man, well, I definitely. I mean, all these are freaking fantastic. But I gotta say, this freaking the strawberry juice slush and this mango, damn, they are good. So I gotta say, shout out to the soy love. Shout out to the boba tea, the no tea. But you have to try this. Man, I love that kind of cream and cheese, the, the cheese foam. But like I said, everybody really enjoyed it. Definitely stop on by Bashi. There's uh, you know, four locations now. And like, you just got it, like the food was great. And man, these drinks are just to die for. So definitely stop by, grab yourself a couple. Oh man, it just keeps on getting better. Woo! That bite was like ma pure mango. Anyway, yeah, until next time, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, stay happy, stay hungry, happy eating. And Houston, get some drinks. Dang nabbit cat. You're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.